Hello, so today I'm going to show you how I'm going to change my boring cork board into a really nice nose board. So first you're going to need some wooden and just lay a piece bigger than your cork board on the table and just put the cork board over the top. You don't need to mark this as such, just go around it with the scissors and you want to be just cutting roughly the same size. So when you put the cork board on the table, it should fit on roughly the same size. Put the wadding on the cork side and then turn them both over onto your fabric. Now this was a bit tricky for me because I used a tartan fabric and I wanted it kind of um, not like a check, like a straight check. I wanted it on an angle because I think it would look too much with the kind of the straps going one way and then the fabric the other. Anyway, so just be really careful and line this up. Take as long as you need for this section and then just fold the sections over. And then with some sharp scissors, just trim off, leaving a good bit to, to staple onto the board. I think I'll use this scrap to make some Christmas de decorations because I love this material. Now these staplers are like £5, they hardly cost anything. You must get one if you haven't got one. <laughs> so, just turn the fabric over the pin board and then try and put your staples into the pine. Just They go in really easily to the soft pine, I think most boards I've got the same. Now don't staple right up to the corners yet, do that at the end, it's much easier. So with the corner, just pull out the corner section to the middle and then fold one side first and then staple that down and then the other side. So just repeat this with each corner and then that is your material securely fastened to your board. And then obviously just trim off the excess if you want just to tidy up the back. Well, that's your board covered. Two seconds, I think my little puppy wants to go out. Come on then, out you go. There's a way. Oh, just chasing rabbits. It's so funny, the rabbits are just so used to her now. They move and then they stand still, sit still and then all that. She probably won't even spot them if they're still. Anyway, these little gorgeous bunnies are the inspiration for the next part of my project. Come on Minnie, in you come. Oh, she's a good girl. Anyway, getting back to the project. So you've got your covered board. Next, I went on to Google Images and I printed out a picture of a rabbit. I could not find one. Well, I couldn't make it the right size. I ended up just sketching it onto some brown paper. So don't be too worried about your sketching abilities because, well, you're just cutting out a kind of like outline. So it's not as difficult as it looks. So once you've cut out your bunny rabbit, or in this case it might be a hair, just the hair, the rabbits are quite rounded. I think the um, hairs have just got a little bit more shape to them sometimes. So once you've cut it out, that's your template. Next I got some natural um, hessian material. I just thought that would work really well with the kind of natural theme of this board. And then I just used the template um, to draw around. So I just put something on a little bit with a little bit of weight so it didn't move around. So I just used one of my black sharpie pens to go around the edges um, as a guide to cut round. You could use any felt tip pen I would imagine for this. And then with some sharp scissors just cut out your bunny rabbit. Again with some sharp scissors because this can be a little bit tricky. Don't worry if it frays on the edges because when you glue the back it'll kind of keep everything in place. Fabric glue is what I used here. You might be able to use PV, I'm not quite sure. So once you've put glue around the edges, just carefully place it onto your notice board. I want mine just a little bit in from the bottom and the edge. And then just push it down into the fabric once you've gotten it exactly where you want it. Right, I'm quite happy with mine just there. Next for the straps. Now I'm just going to use these pieces of like hessian, like burlap. I just bought this on a, on a roll. I didn't buy enough so I'm actually going to use string as well. So once you lay them where you want them, I don't think I'm going to put one over my rabbit's face so I think I'll just do them around the rabbit. And then I just got this twine, not string, twine. I just tied a little knot in the end and used three pieces. I think one piece just seemed too little. Then I just plaited them. The easy way to do this is just to put the knot in the door, shut it on it and then plait it. So much easier, unless someone's going to hold it for you. So once you lay them on exactly where you want them, well, roughly where you want them, it's hard to get them exact at this point. Just start using push, push pins to pin them into the sides. Um, and then you can just move them around. I moved it around a few times to get it the way I wanted it. 
So once you've done that, just turn over your notice board and get out your staple gun and just kind of try and pull the straps in the direction that they're already going and then just staple them into the pine frame if you can. The string's a bit trickier, you might want to like staple the knot or staple it and then tie a knot at the other side of the staple. Just trim off those edges so the back section really is finished. It's, you know, it's, it's as neat as it needs to be for the back. So there you have your straps on your notes board. Now next, these little sections, obviously there's a few little bits of string going on here, twine going on here. So what I thought I'd do is just tie a little bit of twine around just to kind of secure those areas together so they don't start moving off when there's bits of um, kind of vouchers and stuff pushed in. So I just thought I would just tie a little double knot and then just trim it off. I didn't do all the pieces, the, the larger pieces like the, where the burlap is, I didn't use it. So next I just got some random buttons. Um, I just picked out like natural colours, there's all different sizes here. Because you will need something to kind of um, pull um, the string back so it looks more padded the board and also so you have little sections strong enough to hold in um, whatever you're going to be using your board for. I think I'm happy with that. So to attach the button I just got um, a little bit thread, just brown thread I used and then just threaded it through the needle and then just thread it through the button like maybe three or four times and then I then just cut off the end and threaded both ends through back through the needle and then just right in where the cross section is just push the needle through you should go through no bother it's only going through cork and cardboard a thin layer of so it should be fine now I've done this, I had just put some hand cream on my hands and it was, I just could not pull the needles through. Anyway, I just used a paper fastener to tie the actual um, thread around. It's a little bit tricky but it worked really well for me. I don't know what other people, I think other people I've seen use other things. They use the fastener to push the entire way through but I didn't feel like it was strong enough. So I think this is quite a good way. Just wrap it around the fastener and you can then pull it in quite tight then and then fasten it. Just put a double knot in, it should secure it. You can always do this again if you feel like you haven't pulled it in enough. And then once you've done, just open out the little fastener a little bit and then that's not going to go anywhere. And that's it, all finished. I'm so pleased at how my notice board has turned out. And uh, this, as you know, was this from in the kitchen. It was a pin board and it wasn't really used for anything other than literally checking what day the kids were back at school. So I've decided I'm going to do another notice board for the kitchen and use this one in my doorway so I can put in um, things like um, places that we want to go to. Um, there's a little notice there on which day sting you. Little um, reminders for myself. Little vouchers for the garden centre. Um, places to go again. Um, and I often pick up little twigs, like cute little shapes, which I use in projects. The dog usually gets a hold of them, so the pin board's going to be perfect for just popping them in. Yeah, a bit weird, maybe putting feathers in, but I love things like these perfect feathers. I'm definitely going to use them in a project. And the dog would have them straight away if I didn't put them in there. So this is going to go be doorway, and I'm so looking forward to having a really organised summer and doing things that I want to do which I never seem to get round to, like growing vegetables and what have you. So my, pin, my notice board, I keep saying pin board, my notice board's going to totally help me keep organised. And I think when you have something nice like this, you definitely use it more. So I'm really pleased with the stand out, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go and just put a little hanger on the back now, just a picture hook, and I'm going to hang it in the doorway. Please leave a comment or like this video if you like it. 
and it would be brilliant if you could subscribe so you'll not miss my next project. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.